Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 next gen video. So today we're going to be talking about patch one. Yes, next gen has finally gotten their patch. There has been so many problems in the community with the way NBA 2K launch has been. First, we seen all the issues that was on Xbox. And of course, there were new issues popping up on PlayStation 5. Now, besides the issues, a lot has come out about badge glitching and VC glitching. Attention for everyone out there that's doing these glitches. It does not matter about Smurf accounts anymore. Since the player base is very, very small, 2K is able to see your Mac address, your IP address, what console you have, everything. Please, I beg of everyone, do not do these glitches. They are banning everyone's consoles. They're not banning accounts. They're banning consoles. That means you get banned by 2K. You cannot then create a new account on your console and play 2K on a new account. Your entire console is literally a paperweight if the only game you play is NBA 2K. So please do not do these glitches. I know you guys want to. I know we all want to make things easier. But for right now, be smart. Let's hop into the video. Okay, people, so um, I have Trey and Ricky here. Um, we are going to discuss NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Basically, we're going to play threes around this concept of this game has been shitty. As far as we're concerned, this launch has not been one of the best launches. It may be, is it top three worst, guys? Top three worst launches? Uh, I don't know. I'll say, I'll say it's, it's definitely top, top three worst lag. Matter of fact, it's two. It's 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 one A or one B. This shit's up there with eighteen already. So this is giving you two K eighteen vibes with the lag for sure. Not gameplay, not total gameplay, but lag for sure. So the frame skipping is literally the biggest issue you have with the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's is bad, it is bro. it the only issue you have with the game? Is it the only one? Nah, but um, it's one of my biggest, bro, for sure, bro. Now I'm not gonna lie. With them coming out with this whole full patch notes and transparency, I like it. But when they tweeted out that they have gameplay improvements in the city, my career fi fixes, and then just jump to player likeness updates, nobody cares. I'm sorry to say, no, but not one person in this entire community cares about player likeness, bro, at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Question Does player likeness have to do with tendencies or nah? No. Nah. Player like this is just, is look, just, it's just, it's just the look of the player from what I thought, right? Exactly. Just upgrading okay, the face scan sure. of another NBA player. Okay, for sure. But let's go ahead and hop into it, man. So uh, I'm on the side of 2K has a lot of work to do. You know what I mean? As a consumer, I think that a game should be top tier as soon as it comes out. But we live in an era now where games get, um, I guess a pass, I guess you could say, of just coming out with a product and constantly updating it over time of the life of the game. But the one thing about sports games is we only have a year with this product. So why does it take them eight months to make a game fully playable when we're only, we're gonna leave that game in three to four months anyway? So, you know, that's my issue with that. But um, checking out the article, it says NBA 2K21 next gen update number one. It's the course I report for the Zion slash Mamba edition for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So for me, um, they said that they improved both male and female face scans using the My NBA 2K <clears throat> mobile app. Now, I know that you guys haven't scanned your face inside of the game yet. Will you guys be doing that at all? Nah, nah, not at all. How I'm trying, you? but my thing is lag. My, my app keeps crashing and it's not reading my uh, camera. Mm, and you have a Android device, correct? Yeah, the S20 Ultra. Okay, so you have an S20 Ultra that's experiencing crashes. 2K, look into that. And I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I didn't have an issue. But my scan is one of the worst scans ever. <laughs> 2K, when are you guys going to realize 
that people have real mustaches in real life. <laughs> Everybody out here ain't got the face the bare skin face. I can't say what I want to say, but well, everybody, I'm not cut, I cut my beard. Yo, I cut my whole mustache off last year. You got to do it again. Dedication. I, 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 I can't, bro. They're going to, they're going to deal with that hairy upper lip, bro. They just, they're going to have to deal with that, man. But, um, also they say that they've made multiple improvements to hair, headbands, hats, and other accessories on creative players. Now, Trey, I know that you found out a glitch. You and raunchy, Found out something oh. where it looked like you could wear a visor in the game. Explain. Oh yeah, man, that. that's all. That's all, Runchy, man. I don't want to take credit for it, man. I he was wearing a hat. He had hair coming through it. I'm like, yo, where you get a visor from, bro? But yo, it's actually a glitch, man. If you want to wear a visor, man, go ahead and put you a hood, put you a uh, a hat on. Big hair. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of drip too. Okay. All right. So now they said that they made multiple improvements. So I'm guessing. Did they the improvement come it. to where they fix it? Whereas though, when you put the hat on now, your hair is I'm going to go check right now. They better not play with me. Go check and let's report on that in a few minutes when you find out. Um, They said that the official sponsor logo has been added to the San Antonio Spurs uniform. I don't really care about that. Um, They talked about likenesses being updated on players and coaches. I don't care about that. It says they improved the uh, fidelity of the Jumbotron. I don't care about that. It says <laughs> that they address reported stability issues in 2K TV. Uh-huh. I don't care about that. All right, now gameplay. <laughs> Jesus, bro. 2K TV. Crazy, right? Um, they, <laughs> t- <laughs> they said that they've enabled coach settings, system proficiency, assigned plays, and CPU slash user slider menus in the pause menu of cl- quick play games. Have any of you guys played quick play? No. Well, well actually, I, I played one game to see if the load time was high. I said it was, and yeah, it was. But as far as playing it, nah, we off that. Okay. Um, They say that they've corrected the facing of defensive players on certain block animations. How many times y'all been dunked on in this game? I've been yammed on. I've been yammed on. I've been laid up, lay, lay up on. Man, I ain't going to lie. This game, bro, this is the furthest I've ever been dragged into, into a dunk on animation, bro. Like, the dude dunked on me at the end of the game. I tried to play help defense. I was nowhere close to him, and they just dragged me in. He dunked on my ass for the game, man. man. So, so now what they're saying is... <laughs> You you gonna look into his eyes as he dunk? <laughs> look into his eyes as he put you in the rim, <laughs> <laughs> bro. It's over, bro. Um, they said that they've improved the behavior of coaching staff heading to the arena tunnel in certain classic team arenas. I haven't seen any of that problem. Maybe that's for those people that have that nostalgia and they go in there and look at that type of stuff. Um, they said that they've improved spacing and behavior for both players and coaches in huddle situations. Um, I've been in a few huddles inside the story, but I've never seen any issues with like the huddles. Have y'all? Nah. No, not really. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, I did see an issue from somebody where they was on the bench and they was controlling Kevin Durant. So I don't know if that's what they mean. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's what they mean, but who knows, bro? <laughs> Bruh. Um, they said they corrected corrected the issue with the particular jump ball configuration that wasn't lined up properly with the center of the court. That's tough. They couldn't even get the jump ball right. Come on, son. <laughs> Fixed a rare issue where the wrong replay was shown during an official review of a charging foul. So you mean to tell me when they do a review of a charge, they was showing somebody getting crossed or something? Like what? Yep. Oh my goodness. Uh, they changed camera angles so that they, they no longer clip through coaches and players during certain timeout sequences. Jesus, we're like, we're... okay. Um, they say that they've improved players picking up the ball on inbound plays. Oh, thank God. Yeah, for sure. That was bad. That was annoying, bro. Especially like when you're shooting before the games. Mm-hmm. It's annoying, bro. Pick the ball up, bro. Well, I can't invite y'all to the park because they still haven't uh, updated the who's online shit. That's like it literally like it, it literally says not just near me. It says who's online. I just want to know the people that's playing the game. <laughs> I don't need to know everybody else on my friends list. Yo, the, your whole friend list pops up. <laughs> like, Come on, dude. Yo, this is terrible. So that is, they say that they've updated the city um, stuff. They said that um, they have performance improvements during city gameplay centered around reports from the community. More optimizations coming. That's super vague. Super, super vague. Like that. That Wait, says nothing. That's it. Wait. That's the. That's it's, what. Like how? Okay. How do you say performance improvements during city gameplay 
centered around Bro, reports from the community. What are the reports? Tell us what this game happened. lags. Give me more. Yo, the game is so bad. You got to play it on broadcast. We played this game on broadcast. I did the two-hour stream. Don't, don't tell me improve. Give me the details. This game is some of the worst lag ever, bro. Skipping on away. <laughs> Yo, uh, Carter. What's up? I just want to let you know, while you're recording, the dude that was next to us just now, because he kept running into me, my game froze for a split second. I'm going to go to the menu of this game. <clears throat> I can't take this lag. Okay, I'm at the menu of the game. I'm not lagging no more. <laughs> Hey, yo, also, they said that they've added new Black Lives Matters masks and swags. Okay. That's dope, baby. That's you know dope. Um, they said that they fixed the issue with Jump Shot Creator where the release speed would not save correctly. Flip hit me up about that. Flip was like, yo, he kept changing it to the fast speed and it kept going down. He, he the type of dude, he only want fast shots and it kept being too slow. Mm, so we did have somebody that encountered that. That's tough. Yeah, for sure. Uh, shoot, you know what? It might, it might be a problem for me too because... I've been saying like, yo, my jump shot mad slow and I had it on like three fourths of the way and the meter yeah. just would not move with every jump shot. And I still got my meter on. I know I'm ass. Ain't gonna lie. Man, turn that meter off, man. I, I did. You see me green twice? Yeah, good. <sighs> Keep it off. <laughs> they said they have even faster load times when accepting invites to the city from various areas of the game. How, Sway? How? How, how am I going to invite somebody if I can't invite them? The the two K invite system this year is horrible, bro. Yeah, actually, it's not that it's horrible. It never changed. They never fixed it. So so listen, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Check this out. This is how you invite a friend on to PlayStation, right? You have to go down to the menu button, then you have to go down to game base, right? And you want to have favorites. These three people are in my favorites. They're the they're the only people that's currently in my favorites, and it allows me to invite them to a game with ease. If you go to your phone. And you try to invite somebody, there's a possibility that you won't see them online because I didn't see Ricky online all day yesterday. Yet he was online. Um, also, there's an issue where if you do try to send an invite to somebody, like look, see how that just popped up friends playing NBA 2K21? If I try to invite this person to my city, an error might pop up in the top right of my screen telling me that I can't invite them. And then I will have to restart my entire console and 2K just to invite them. So it's a super huge issue, man. So they say that they improved the stability in garage hoops and Gatorade rental courts. Have we, have you guys played any garage hoops or Gatorade rental court games? Uh, I played on them by myself when, and when the game first came out, but not since everybody got it. Okay, so we are not sure if like they were uh, probably lagging or frame dropping just like we were maybe? Probably so, most likely. Um, win streaks are now properly tracked at the end of city games. By the way, uh, Trey, you sold me yesterday. Telling me that I would see the fireball after five games. Oh, how many was it? Ten. Oh, I mean, it was five times two. Hey, yo, somebody, yo, get him out of here. <coughs> yo, you are so whack. Cut that out the video. No, it's staying in, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, oh, you, you as corny as these my career storylines, bro. Ricky, why are you on the spot? I swear. It Hold says on, that they have addressed various camera warping slash clipping issues when near buildings and other objects while riding some vehicles in the city. Why are they saying yeah. some vehicles? Why don't they say which vehicles it is so we don't waste our VC on them? I mean, I think I think at this point it might be all of them, bro. Every time you get close to something, bro, your camera start tweaking. That's true. Well, I mean, shoot, as, as fast as you was riding, you know what I'm saying? You was doing 90 and the fucking 45 the other day. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. The camera will now function properly for all drills in the Gatorade training facility when accessed via the team practice facility. Have you guys seen the team practice facility at all? No, I haven't. It's the team I practice facility? I didn't even what? know that shit existed in this game. Where is it? Oh, you know, you know, you know what? We, we didn't make it to the NBA, so we wouldn't know. Mm, you know, you're right. You're right. Dang, so we really got to play my career to unlock everything. Oh, my. All right, man. I guess I'll be streaming my career later. I got to make it to the NBA. I'm in the G League. It's tough. Okay. Um, the game will no longer hang after purchasing boosts and immediately entering another store. So how do you purchase boosts this year? Trey, I know you would know. Uh, on the spot? <laughs> Big boosts. What up? You can pay you got, you, you Yes, sir. You going to go over to progression? You go to my health? <laughs> Buy the skill boosts. Need those.
Hey, yo, you one of those, yo. Me, those. You boost me, man. Oh, it don't matter to me. That's that's why they try to get unlimited. <laughs> yo, it's a, um, they have some My Career updates as well. So it says it fixed the hang when you're trying to enter the private workout leading into the draft. It says it saves that saves that had previously ran into this issue will also now be available to continue. Now, I remember when I was streaming on Facebook, somebody was like, yo, don't go to the G League. And I'm like, why? He was like, if you go to the G League, you won't make it to the NBA or your progression will stop for your badges. I was like, oh, snap. I was like, well, yeah, dang. a couple of our subs uh, got that glitch. All so, right. Did you did you see anything? Because did you go to college route or the, the G no, League? No, I went to the G League. Okay, so did you did you have a hang or anything? Nah, not yet. All right, well, I'm I'm, I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm at the N- NBA draft portion, and I literally stopped right there because I was scared that I wouldn't make it in. Um, <laughs> also, it's a... What is this? Commentary will no longer drop out during occasional stretches in my career playoff games after timeouts. Who the hell made it to the playoffs? You tripping. Dudes had this game early. They in the playoffs, bro. I mean, what, all the Xbox dudes? Yes, sir. That's tough. Um, Empty social media messages will no longer appear on a landing menu during the draft portion of the long shadow. Do you know what that is? No. They got updates for shit I ain't even seen (laughs) yet, bro. Um, Okay, on-court accessories will no longer appear in certain endorsement images. What? All right, this must be all branding. Like, this, this has nothing really to do with my career. Um, VC yeah. balance will no longer have a delay when collecting earnings in the endorsement menu. Uh, fix the rare soft hang in live practice on the recap screen where all badges have been maxed out. Ooh, no, I've never went to a live practice, but I think I know what you mean about that uh, that soft hang when looking at your badge. I don't know. Um, yeah, game for goals. Sure. Say that again. No, I say yeah for sure. Uh, game goals in college portion of the story related to blocks can now be completed correctly. Oh, so they oh, so they didn't even let you get goals done. Oh, this is... Mm. This game broke, bro. <laughs> Address the issue where attribute prices could show up as negative numbers. Uh-oh. That was something that somebody had uh, sent me on Twitter. They had sent me an image of uh, their, their, their attributes going negative. Um, like when you try to like uh buy your like buy your prices, it was like negative two hundred and twenty eight thousand VC for them to upgrade their player. Yeah, yo, grinding DF is talking. I don't know if he's gonna be if he gonna be in your video. Oh, he won't. Um, I muted console audio already. Thanks, right, grinding. Man. Um, also er, the rest of this stuff I really don't care about. It said that they fixed a couple things in the W. Um, they fixed a okay. couple things in my NBA, which I know a lot of people that like that franchise type move will like. I'm not gonna read those over. Um, and they fixed a couple things in my team. Um, and one huge thing is they disable play calling in triple threat mode because it led to various issues. So I guess that's that. Yeah, all that stuff that don't concern us, bro. I wanted to get get both of y'all thoughts because you guys both played a game today. Because yeah. with the update, they said that they fixed various issues inside the park. So have you guys endured any frame skipping today? Oh, uh, nah, me and Ricky only played one game, and the one game we played was smooth, bro. It was smooth, for sure. Okay. So, uh, but who knows, bro, because last night we got on and played, and it was smooth, but uh, all of a sudden it became laggy. So we really won't know just yet. You know what I'm right. saying next patch, you no, know, we'll put y'all boys in on how, if this patch was really good. I doubt it, though, but we'll let y'all know. Yeah. How many, all right, Um, out of eight patches, how many patches do you think it'll take for us to have Smooth gameplay, everything working right, and not, five no, of them babies. Five, five Big to get five. the whole city to work, like to Big work five. out with no, yeah. with no issues. Yeah. Big five. I think it's gonna be more than that, to be honest. I, uh, lucky seven for me. I think it might take like seven patches. I think you've mentioned it already, Carter, but uh, they they need to they need to change up how Rookieville works. Um, mm, enlighten me. Uh, uh, they should allow your friends off rip to jump in there and to join friends, bro. Get yeah, to there, join bro. friends. I that right there is probably the worst because the struggle to get out of there, and also I'm experiencing a huge bug where if I don't think it's because we're together, like we try to jump into a server together, mm-hmm. but I realized that anytime I was playing with Trey, and this could just be me, my earnings I was getting glitched out of my rep earnings when I played. By myself, 
I then was getting more. And this was, so, we're talking about when I win, when we win games. Right. It took me super long to get to like, from like rookie two to rookie three playing with Trey. And then when I just did it by myself for some odd reason, it just maybe, again, it could be a coincidence, but there's definitely a glitch going on sometimes where you don't earn that much rep. I'm still having that for like the past four years. Hey, listen, man, as far as I'm concerned, whenever there's an issue with NBA 2K, I'm going to let you guys know what's going on. I'm going to let you guys know that I hit up every possible person that works at 2K whenever there's an issue. Having this type of access to the 2K devs is definitely dope, but I'm not going to abuse it. I'm just going to make sure that us as consumers are happy with the product that they're putting out, man. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And did y'all see dude just speed past me like that on that skateboard? Dudes be out here glitching. Bye.